Hello again, and I apologize for the last uh, two hours. Uh, I have a you know difficulty uh, uh, with my firewall; it's blocking my internet. So I have to uh, lower my security a little bit. Um, peace of Christ, to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today. Actually, I just changed the title of my uh, topic today because a Muslim he contacted me and he said, if he uh, if I can show him a false prophecy which is 100% clear that Muhammad is a big liar he will leave Islam today and he promised me that he and his wife both of them they are young couple they are watching us right now and he is waiting for me to prove it now I believe that this person is being decent and he will keep his a promise however you keep your promise or not this is your business for me Muhammad is a false prophet you leave Islam or you don't that will not change really anything it's you who is going to be trapped with it if you decide to ignore what you are going to show you so how we can show this Muslim 100% prove that Muhammad is a false prophet. Actually, everything in the Quran proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. I can mention things uh, about, you know, like uh, Muhammad saying in the Quran, uh, you know, in chapter 18, that the sun sit in murky water, how Muhammad described how the baby is made, etc. But I will show him something more clear. This is Muhammad, and this is Sahih Hadith, first of all. Let us see the number of the hadith. I will put it in the screen. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2538A. 2538A. Now remember those numbers, by the way, are not really accurate. Those are non numbers. I don't know how they made them anyone which, when they made the translation. Those are not really uh have nothing to do with the actual numbers but as long they have them there I mean whatever it is so let us see the prophecy which Muhammad he came with Muhammad was speaking to his followers and he says the meaning of the words the prophet after 100 years will be no soul left alive is living now I mean do you need to tell me the meaning of the words <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We know what it is. <laughs> Muhammad, he said, in a hundred years from now, not a single human being will be alive. Is that a false prophecy, my friend? The gentleman who promised me he will leave Islam. Isn't it obvious that this is an extreme false prophecy? He's talking about what? He's talking about the judgment day. I heard Allah Messenger as saying this one month before his death. So he said that a month before his death. You ask about the last hour. Where is its knowledge is with Allah. I, however, took take an oath and say that none upon the earth the created beings from amongst my companions this is between two brackets by the way it doesn't say that in there but uh, we, we let it go between the two brackets this way it says two brackets and uh, just trying to explain to you supposed to uh, uh, more of their meaning would survive at the end of 100 years so muhammad is speaking about the judgment day that the judgment day is have to be maximum of a hundred year from now here, when they added the, the companions, this is very silly. I mean, uh, if Muhammad, he died in, a, in the age of 63, I mean, how his uh, companion, they will live 100 years from now. I mean, that's that's mean they make them 163 uh, years. So they put it there. It's, it's, a, it's a false uh, translation. It says it clearly that none upon the earth, any creation, any creation, not only human, all the creations upon the earth, within 100 years they will disappear 
I'm waiting for you to text me in uh, in Skype and keep your own promise if you like to call me live and say I am leaving Islam feel free if you don't want to speak in public it's up to you still you can send me text and you tell me if I can show your text or not is that clear or not I mean how easier I can make it for you a man claiming that not a single a cre creation and this is the hate in Arabic by the way سمعت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول قبل أن يموت بشهر تسألوني عن الساعة وإنما علمها عند الله وأقسم بالله ما على الأرض من نفس منفوسة تأتي عليها ما أتسنى They are asking me He said before a month from his death You are asking me about the judgment day hour or the, the hour, the hour uh, of the judgment the knowledge of it is within with Allah, but I swear by Allah that not a single breathing soul will be living in a hundred years from now. I'm still waiting for this gentleman to keep his promise. Until now, he did not send me a text. I don't know. Maybe he's discussing with his wife. <laughs> maybe he's not doesn't matter but obviously Muhammad is making up a lie and we are now 1400 years after Muhammad and we are alive as I believe right now I am alive hmm? I think so I think I'm alive actually I just came like I was outside you know and uh, people they said to me hello which means they can see me I mean <laughs> obviously <laughs> and in the store I was able to pay for uh, you know uh, some uh, grocery I bought so I think I am alive I think Muhammad is wrong about this so how we can accept Muhammad to be a prophet this is one of tons of stupid things your prophet he said and you know it's up to you I mean you wanna you wanna you wanna leave Islam you wanna stay as a Muslim this is your business we can show endless reference of things Muhammad he said which is absolutely false you know, Muhammad, he says, as example, you know, we, we made a topic today about the names of Allah, right? Okay. Allah have uh, 99 names. Who is the one who said that? Who is the one who said that? Muhammad. But Muhammad is a person who stuck with the number 99. I mean... Muhammad is stuck with numbers. Let us see. The number nine is very well known. He stuck with it. Number seven, he stuck with it. But look at this. In the, the Allah has one hundred mercy. Allah, He has one hundred mercy. But ninety-nine of them is for the day of resurrection. Hmm. Okay. Number nineteen, and this is appear in the Quran. Actually, the Muslim they made a miracle about it, which is funny. Here you will see that the one who said that Allah has 99 names, i.e., 100 minus 1, Muhammad saying that. Now, here you will notice something very funny. If I change the Muslim now to count for me the 99 names of Allah from the Quran, we will not find them. Not only that, we will find the Quran contradict Muhammad. Because Muhammad, as usual, he says things which is 
totally opposing each other. Uh, the Quran says that all the good names belong to Allah. All good names belong to Allah. And you find that as an example. Uh, chapter 17, 110, or chapter 20, verse number 8. All the good names, all the beautiful names belong to Allah. Okay, so how we can say those are 99? Any beautiful name belong to Allah. So Allah, yeah, okay, is Jasmine beautiful? Uh, Jasmine, Allah, his name is Jasmine. What if I want to call Allah Lolita? Hmm? Like to make him more exciting, like, you know, Allah Lolita. I told you once when I, I, I was eating uh, in a buffet uh, that was in the Caribbean, and the guy and his wife in front of me, he pointed his finger at a dish and he said, Ponita. Me, because I'm an Arab and I'm very educated in languages, I thought the dish name is Ponita. Second day, I like this dish. I ate from it. I love it. So second day, I said to myself, I mean, this is the only name I remember. So let me ask for Ponita. So the waiter, the waitress, uh, she came and I said to her, Ponita, she laughed. And she left. And then I, I called her again to come. I said, where is my dish? You know, Ponita, she don't speak English. She laughed again. And then after like 15 minutes, she came back and she is looking with her friends at me and she gave me a piece of paper Her has her phone number. And I was saying, what's wrong with those people? I'm asking for a dish to bring me a phone number. So a guy was walking by, he's a waiter. I asked him, where is my dish, man? Everybody is speaking dish? He said, yes, sir. I said, where is my dish? He said, what you order? I said, I ponita. He said, what ponita? He said, I order for ponita. But we don't have a dish, it's called Ponita. I said, so what Ponita is? I said, Ponita means pretty. So I was saying to this girl, you are pretty without knowing. <laughs> me, I thought I'm asking for a dish. She thought I'm flirting with her and she gave me her phone number. Now for Allah, all the beautiful names, Ponita. Hmm? 99 names, that is impossible. That's stupid, actually. Actually, there's a fatwa in the internet. It says that Allah names is for sure more than 99 names. Let me look for it. Just to show the Muslims, I'm not making things up. Give me a second. All right, here we go. I found it. Question This is Islamic is Islam Islamica info.com, it's an official Islamic website. Names of Allah are not limited to 99. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Those are Muslim scholars, they are saying the names of Allah are not limited to 99. But by saying that, you Muslims got your prophet busted. So what we will do now with this hadith, where Muhammad, he said, Allah has 99 names. You know what I mean? As long as the Muslims, they agree that Allah has more than 99 names. Question, are they only 99 names of Allah? Or there are more than that? In two minutes, we discover there is more. Ponita, as an example, Lolita, and Jasmine. You know, as long as Allah is a is a is a sexual god, so let's call him something uh, uh, sexual. Uh, and here the the article is long, but anyway, the summary is in the top. It says, the names of Allah are not limited to ninety nine. Mm 
Hmm? So you Muslims yourself, you get your prophet busted. Muhammad is lying. How all the beautiful names belong to Allah, and then how you count them 99? This is impossible. There's millions of beautiful names. And how that can be that beautiful names belong to Allah because those names are given to somebody already somebody or something so how those names can belong to Allah what does that mean I mean this is silly but Muhammad is a person who is stuck with numbers as we said before if you remember Muhammad once he said that uh, uh, Solomon he have 99 wives 99 wives and he wanted to have sex with them uh, but you know he forgot to say inshallah before he have sex let us see a story a person he killed 99 people and just to show you how Muhammad is obsessed with some numbers he fabricates stories based in numbers he like anyone will text me and he is sitting and and, uh, and uh, will be stupid I will ban you I have no time for kids shall I not tell you what I heard directly from the messenger of Allah I heard him and I heard I memorize it a man he killed 99 people why 99 I mean what is that a true story or this is a fiction story and why he why he's saying 99 I mean isn't it a, uh, what about killing seven people what about killing 99,000 continue uh, let us see where is the the story of Solomon. Hold on. Okay, this is in the Quran, actually. You know, like, uh, um, uh, If you remember the Quran says that he was jealous because his brother he have 99 wives but let us see find the hadith let us see and you will see why Muhammad he stuck with the number 99 read with me carefully the Prophet Solomon son of the prophet David said tonight I will go around ie and I will do F you see they're trying to be uh, I mean <laughs> supposedly trying to be polite but the fact it says there he will do F how many women 100 women 100 women actually in hadith in different hadith it says 99 uh, this hadith is appear as one nine, 100 and look here what happened and this is a story supposedly is a true story mentioned by Muhammad he want to sleep with 100 women all in one night yeah, even Christian Prince cannot do that man I mean come on this is too much exaggeration I mean I mean there is no way I am an Arab uh, you know maybe uh, you know I mean uh, 99 women I mean don't you think 100 is too much 100 women in one night there again, there again, there again. Uh, like what happened? There is no tomorrow left. And look what the purpose of having sex with all those 100 women. What is the purpose? He want to have 100 fighter to do jihad. As if they are going to be born with mustache and they will have a sword right away. So look what he says. I will have intercourse if all 100 women every one of whom will deliver a male child this guy even he's sure they will be male <laughs> i mean muhammad is really 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 a very nice for cartoon 
I'm brother and sister. A brother and sister. There's a story about the Prophet Solomon. And he decided to do the had. And he said to himself, I'm going to have sex with 100 women of my wife. And he took off his panty and he started doing bang bang. And the brother and sister. And the target is he want to have 100 male so they can do the had. Okay, I mean, this story is really convincing. Muhammad is not lying at all. How dare you to say Muhammad is lying? Are you stupid or what? And then, who will fight for Allah cause? Like, he will not send them as missionary. <laughs> no, no, no. They will kill right away. They are ready to slaughter. <laughs> They are criminal by birth. On that, uh, uh, on that, an angel said to him, an angel, he came to him. He said, Khabibi, you see, they remember this, uh, this guy, uh, <laughs> Solomon, he is a Jew. He said to him, Khabibi, Khabibi, uh, Solomon, Khabibi, Khabibi, don't forget, Khabibi, before you have sex, Khabibi, uh, say, Inshallah, Khabibi. <laughs> do, do, what? He said to him, say, if Allah will. But look at this, Solomon, what he did. But Solomon did not say it. And forgot to say it. What? What? How you do that? He forgot to say if Allah will. <laughs> so the guy he start having bang bang. Then he had sexual relationship with them, all of them. Boom, 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 boom. That guy. You can imagine how much sweat this guy he was doing at that night. I mean, he have a marathon of. Uh, 100 women hold on where is the calculator let us say the night is eight hours okay and we have 100 women eight hours <clears throat> divided to 100 what what he have to finish with eight women an hour okay hold on <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Actually, not not eight. It's more more than eight. What is that? The the, the calculator is not giving you the correct number. <laughs> so let us say you have to finish with almost uh, what twelve, uh, you know, or let us say ten point one. I know yeah almost 12 12 something okay so let us say 12 the 12 women so if we say we divide 60 minutes to 12 he have to finish with every one of them in five minutes <laughs> Solomon are you a rabbit or what five minutes you have to finish with each one of them in five minutes are you kidding me How you can do that? Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Solomon, he will have orgasm before the women take off her panty. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love you, Prophet Muhammad. You are very funny. <laughs> Must be a true story. And then, you know, the this guy, the this poor Solomon, uh, the Muslim Solomon, He start having bang bang with all the 100 women, but remember, he forgot to say what? Who remember? Let us see how many of you remember. What he forgot to say? He forgot to say a very important word, brother. Brother, he forgot that word. What is that word? Inshallah. If Allah will. You don't say that, nothing will happen. Nothing. You have to say that word. So how the Christians, they can have their kids? They don't say if Allah will. <laughs> hey, Dad, did you say to my mom before you start doing your your your, uh, your business with her, did you say if Allah will? <laughs> oh, Dad, don't do that. Unbelievable. So what is that? If Allah will? So what happened here, brother? Solomon, he forgot to say if Allah will. And then he had sex with the 100 women, which is very easy. I mean, any man can do that. 
I mean, what is 100 women in one night? <laughs> we can do more. <laughs> I mean, this is not, I feel, I mean, actually, I feel sorry for Solomon. I mean, why only 100? Do you think at that time the food was not healthy? I think there is something wrong with Solomon. I think his health was not good. Only 100? I mean, come on. This is a prophet of God. There's no way he can do only 100 like us. We can do 200, 300, 400. He's a prophet of God. <laughs> then, uh, we have someone is calling. Oh, hello, 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 we have a stupid guy. Welcome to stupid stupidity. So he did not say if Allah will and look what happened brother surprise 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 but none of them delivered any child except one delivered what a half person <laughs> Look here, first of all, how Muhammad he insult if somebody he have a person like let's say uh, we call them a person with a special needs. So Muhammad here he considered this is what Islam is about that if you are a person with a special needs, you are like this because your dad did something wrong, and this is totally opposite of what Jesus said. Do you remember in the Bible? He said, neither his parents commit sin. That's, that's not because, because his parents commit sin. This is not about, about uh, sin. People, they have a mentality that because I did something wrong or it's going to appear in my uh, child or etc. Muhammad here, he confirmed. By the way, in different hadith, he says the opposite. But because Muhammad is a thief, when he learned something, he added to his dictionary. So he heard about what Jesus said. So he added. Here, Muhammad saying that after having sex with 100 women, what happened? He gave a birth for one person only, which is a half person, and this is the Muslim translation. The Muslim translation, not anyone. And you notice always, when we speak to a Muslim, and we you know, like we try to to speak to him in a nice way, uh, try to have a, a kind of dialogue. Don't call me directly. You have to. You have to tell me who you are. Actually, you know what? Anyone from now on, in order to call me, we will ask somebody. Let me let me exit my uh, Skype because just to avoid kids who call and play songs and stupidity, we will find somebody who check person a person before he talk to me to be to be sure. Uh, actually, you know what? You have to contact me in Skype. I will check your Facebook to see you are a real person, and then I will take your call. I think this is better because we are getting a lot of kids just trying to annoy us. Half person, because he did not say if Allah will, China is a billion human beings. None of them, he says, Allah will. How we can accept Muhammad to be a prophet and he is telling the truth. And then the prophet said, remember carefully, this is the words of Muhammad. The prophet said, if Solomon said, if Allah will, Allah would have fulfilled his desire, which means to have 99, oh sorry, 100 the child. But look how silly this logic is. Solomon, he wanted to have 100 wives to sleep with them so he will make them deliver babies to go to do jihad. So it's not even for his benefit. So why he need to say if Allah will? Still, you have to say, if Allah will, otherwise, Allah will doom you.
but here we have a problem anyone knows what the problem let us see how many of you will uh, like think deeply about this issue what is the big problem Muhammad himself as a person will face because of what he just said anyone can come with something uh, uh, just to 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 make you uh, uh, to direct your thinking about Muhammad himself as a person that is against Muhammad himself anyone knows why anyone knows why Muhammad bear parents thank you Peter Muhammad parents are kuffar they are not believers they will go to hell and they never said if Allah will so how Muhammad came to existence not only that there's a hadith I don't know if any of you have uh, have the link if anyone if you have the link in English because uh, I remember it's hard to find it in English uh, there's a hadith where it says that if a person want to have sex with his wife and he don't say a certain prayer shaitan will wrap himself around his penis and he will be the one doing his wife Muhammad he ordered the Muslims to pray and say certain words before intercourse otherwise shaitan will be having sex with his wives or with the wife <clears throat> if any one of you intended to go to his wife which means to have sex with her he should say in the name of Allah Oh Allah protect us against Satan and keep away Satan from the one that you have bestowed upon us and if he or deny the male child for them Satan will never be able to do any harm to him if 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 <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> brother, is that why Shaitan was able to harm to Muhammad to do harm? Because Muhammad's parents they did not say this prayer. What do you think? I mean, how silly Muhammad is to say such a statement. He just shot himself in the foot. Muhammad himself, his families, they did not say that prayer. So Muhammad is, by the way, in case you do not know what he meant, he meant that shaitan will be your father because shaitan, he will rant himself around. Let me see if I can find the hadith in English. Hold on. Prayer before intercourse, brother. <laughs> And you know the funny is you will hear you hear sometimes somebody he com he converted to Islam. I mean, how in the world you do that? <laughs> I mean, literally, you have to be mentally ill. Okay. Um, Let us I'm trying just to find this hadith in English for you.
because it's hard to believe if I don't show it to you from a Muslim website. So I'm trying. Um, I saw it before in English, that's why I, uh, I'm, you know. Hmm. Searching. Mm hmm. Yeah, I need to find it in English so we can show it to you. Um, I could not find anything. <clears throat> I remember before I saw it, but you know. Let us see here. Saying a prayer before intercourse. Saying prayer. Before intercourse, okay. Hmm. Now, I found many websites, but until now I did not find the one. <clears throat> um. mm. Yeah, it looks like we will not find it. Sometime you get lucky and you find them fast, you know? Sometime. But anyway. You see, uh, uh, even in the Quran, it says it clearly that Allah, He said that Shaitan, He will be partner with you and your kids. And according to Muhammad, chapter 17, verse number uh, 60, uh, 64, uh, Saying it clearly that Shaitan, he will share mankind with their children. He will partner with them in their wealth and their children. <clears throat> right? Any Muslim have a comment? And if you see the interpretation for this, it says it exactly as we are saying that uh, if you don't have this prayer, Shaitan is going to affect you and he will share your children. Let us go to Ibn Kathir and see what Ibn Kathir want to say about this. Chapter 17, verse number 64. <clears throat> 17 actually I remember Ibn Kathir always he do his best trying to defend Islam so that, uh, and, the, and the translation of Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do really with Arabic 
but still I have to use it because it's what we have you guys speak only English let us see <clears throat> And share with them their worth. Ibn Abbas and Mujahid said, This is meant what he commanded them to do of spending money of this uh, disobeying Allah may be excited. Well, Awlad and the children. It's reported by Mujahid, etc. That this is mean the legitimate that the means the, the children of zina, i.e., I, the children of adultery. <laughs> <laughs> so children of adultery in Islam are because shaitan was having sex with your wife or a woman it's not your child he's this child of shaitan reported by Ibn Abbas this is mean children who they used to kill out of folly without knowledge Qutada reported that Al Hassan Al Basri said that Allah caused shaitan to take a share of the wealth and the children by making them megans jews and christians and make them follow any religion other than islam and by making them uh, give a part of their worth to the shaitan the story is not in, uh, uh, over yet and share with them their worth and children the fact that the fact i like it when the muslim they say the fact only wealth and children are mentioned in this area does not mean that it is limited only to those things everything is a, 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 a in which person disobey Allah or disobey or obeys shaitan that is his sharing with him now Ibn Kathir he is going deeper when one of you the Prophet he said when I have intercourse with his wife let him say in the name of Allah and keep away shaitan and keep shaitan away from what you bestow, bestow on us, which means the children. Then if the child decreed for them that shaitan will never harm him. Ibn Kathir, he did not give any details about uh, having, you know, shaitan rounding himself around the penis of the man when you have sex. Let us see different interpretation. <clears throat> All right. This is Tafsir al Jalalain, and here in the English translation, they are not showing that. Um, let us see Ibn Abbas. Yeah, all English translation doesn't show that Shaitan will round himself around the penis of the man. But if we go to the Arabic ones, the Arabic is totally different from the English because in Arabic they don't hide, they cannot hide it. That's it, the book is there. In English, Muslims they can play all the games in the translation and they can cut off as much as they wish. Uh, always when you read an Islamic interpretation in Arabic, it is totally like a, not a hundred percent different it's a million percent different and that is telling you how much you are missing when you try to understand Islam if you don't speak the, the, the language look all of this is interpretation but when they go in English it is two lines look how many pages I'm switching the pages one after one page number four all right Uh, let us compare between the English translation and the Arabic translation of Nikathir. All right. 
every every uh, uh, child is born as a female it happened because he disobey Allah by the way it's it it it, it named uh, which means he did not you know he have no he did not say the prayer before he have intercourse but I did not see that in the English did we see it I don't think so um, Let us see this hadith here. You see this one we did not see in the English translation. And be found. Not be found in English. Too bad. <clears throat> Mm. Ah, let me show you this hadith here. Muhammad he claimed that if you know a person he is a homosexual, that because shaitan he had sex with his mother. <laughs> Muhammad he come with a new name he named a group of people he called them Al-Mugharribun they asked the Prophet of Allah who is Al-Mugharribun what does that mean I mean this guy he come with names nobody heard of it he create like a he create titles you know like things we never heard before so they said to him who is who are they those Mugharribun he says those are whom they you know uh, when they have sex you see in translation they don't really show the, the the truth when they have sex they have sex like when you have sex with the woman shaitan he share with you and then mugharibun supposedly are the homosexual let us show more reference hold on <clears throat> let us copy the hadith In different way. The bad thing about this website, I mean, you search for something. You can search by number, you can search by because their numbers are different from the original numbers. And if you search for anything in the in the search engine, it shows you anything have to do with the word. You know. <clears throat> Let us see. I'm trying to find it. Let us see. Hmm. I'm trying to find you where is the reference where it says it clearly according to Muhammad that those who they are homosexual they are 
the you know they are like the, the fruits of uh, sex between shaitan and a human I could not find it really in, Ara in English, but I can find it here in Arabic. The book of Ahkam al Murjan fi Ahkam al Jan. Qala Tartusi fi Kitabi Tahrim al Fawahish. At Tartusi, the Imam at Tartusi said in the book of forbidden what is forbidden, the forbidden things, like the bad things. He he been asked from from what a person he will be a gay, a homosexual. He said. It's we it's been reported from 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 Ibn Abbas. He said Al Muhannathuna Awladu Jin. The homosexual, they are the children of the genie. And genie, they are shaitan too. I cannot find that in English. I'm trying. Yeah, I cannot find it in English. So obviously, Muhammad, he always, uh, you know, this religion, it is a superstition religion, come with this, you know, like the most silly explanation for things to happen. Why this guy is a homosexual? Because supposedly his mother, she have sex with a genie. Uh, I don't know if any of you remember that according to Muhammad, Shaitan, he have sex with himself. Shaitan, because the Quran, you know, the Quran always is full of mistakes, and the Quran said uh, that Shaitan he have a children's, but Allah supposedly he kicked only one Shaitan from the heaven. So how this guy he have a wife? You know what I mean? If if the God of Islam he kicked Shaitan from heaven, uh, as you see in chapter eighteen, verse number fifty. Let us go and open the verse so we can show you. <clears throat> So when they ask how shaitan can have kids how shaitan have kids Allah Allah he kicked only from heaven three persons two are human Adam and Eve and the third was the devil which the Quran called him Iblis which is obviously you know a copy from you know previous uh, uh, languages and previous cultures Why I don't want to talk to you because you are from Bahrain? No, my friend, my Skype is open. You can talk to me here. Listen carefully. When Muhammad he claimed that Shaitan he have a children's, and the Muslim they try to find how Shaitan he have a children's. Look what they come with. They come with a solution that shaitan he lay eggs and he have sex with himself let us see the reference <clears throat> I don't like to mention something without showing a proof, you know. 
they will see his line. All right. This is Al Qurtubi, Tafsir Al Qurtubi. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It says here I've been asked about do Iblis have a wife, which means she, Shaitan, Satan. Do you have a wife? I said, This is a wedding <laughs> party I did not attend. And then he says, and then I mentioned the Quran saying, Are you going to take him and his children as leaders, friends, or protectors? And I know that he have no way to have a children unless he have a wife. Mujahid said that Iblis he did if his himself by himself. Which means he have a penis in the you know in different explanation it says actually in the same explanation we will we will see that in the same line after that. So he enter himself into himself, which means he's effing himself, and then uh he lay five eggs, and this is the origin of his childhood or children's, and it said that Allah he created for him. A penis in the right side of his thigh, the right thigh of his right right leg, and a vagina in the left leg. So he if this by that, makes sense. I mean, think about it. Shaitan, he have a penis in the right leg and he have a vagina in the left leg. So all what you need to do, he just shake it. You know, I mean, then the penis will go in the vagina and we got the babies. So he if that, and here you notice by the way, it says yanka. You see, the Muslim they say the word yanka does not mean if. It says here that he if he do he do nikah, he do what he yanka yanka what the guy is if in himself. <laughs> he cannot be married, so he, this is a the physical action. So so who he do uh, yanka this with that and every day he lay ten eggs. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open Google Translation. I know Google Translation is not good. You know, but at least you can see. Uh, so Muslims, they will not say, uh, you know. You know, most most of them they don't speak Arabic, which is really a problem. So I'm going to copy from here and paste. Let us copy actually more. There is a limit of how much you can copy, but we will try. Okay, and I will go to Google Translation in front of your eyes and I will paste translate. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> Mujahid said the devil enter his vagina. Actually, he says he if his vagina. The same as you know, his, by, uh, he he ent he enter his penis into his vagina, and then he lay five eggs, and this is the origin of his offspring. It is said that Allah created for him in his right thigh a male may member, which means a penis, and in the left side uh, a vagina. It says left hand. This is not wrong, and then he will do this. He if this with that translation is coming wrong here. And every day he lay down ten eggs will come out of him. Every from every ten from every egg there is seventy uh, is Satan, uh, male and female. They will come from every egg. Now we know that this is Google translation is not accurate, but you know I'm already I translated that for you. But we are copy pasting in front of you, so people will not say, "Oh, he's you know this is not what it says." How anyone can believe in such a thing? It's impossible. I mean, unless you are really going crazy. The Muslims always, they try to find a solution for what is written in their uh, Quran. 
and this Quran is very confusing and full of um, too many fiction stories and here we go so now we want to find out how shaitan he have a wife there's no wife Allah he kicked him out of heaven only him he's the only guy so how, how he have kids so now we have to come with a solution and what the solution is okay we claim that shaitan he have a penis in the right leg and vagina in the left leg and he f himself and then he lay ten eggs <laughs> So, you know, the more you read Islamic books, the more you find that this is a very silly, stupid cult. I mean, the the the, the fiction and the, uh, it, it's, it does not even respect you as a as an individual, especially for a person who live. I mean, maybe this was accepted in the desert one day. People are naive; they don't have education. They believe anything. They believe that there is a witch; she can fly. And uh, etc. But today, I mean, who is going to believe in this garbage? Even Muhammad in the hadith, by the way, because a Muslim might say to me, "Okay, but Muhammad did not say here that." No, Muhammad he said that. Let me show you. Muhammad he claimed that Shaitan he lay eggs. Muhammad he claimed that Shaitan he lay eggs in the empty market. Hmm. Let us find the height in English. All right. Muhammad is the source of all lies. I don't know why I cannot find anything with this website. I mean, this is should be here. Even this is a Sahih Hadith. Here we go. See, this is in Sahih Muslim, but we cannot find it. I mean, why we cannot find it? See, when I search, I cannot find it. Anyway, it's here. Let us see this one. The Prophet said, do not, if you can help, be the first to enter the market and the last to leave because in the arena of, uh, it, 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 it is the arena of Satan and he's, uh, and the standard of Satan, he was said there. Well, what standard? It doesn't say that. It says in Arabic, he, uh, you know, he, Satan, he lay his eggs. I mean, what, what this translation is about? Unbelievable how they lie. They tried to cover up. Let us see. Unbelievable. They 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 uh, they change the translation. We can't find any truth for translation. But anyway, anyone who speaks Arabic he can see it. I mean it's not the All right, you know what? I'm going to take what we can do. Look like we have to use Google. Here we go. Just to show you how they lie in the translation. Don't be the first one to enter the market, neither the last one, because Shaitan he lay his eggs there. He he put his eggs and they and the legs they they what they call them when the eggs they break. You know, they hashed. I don't know. So let us here we go. We copy in the front of you. Copy. And then we go to Google Translation in front of you. Clear this one. Paste. Translation. Don't be the first to enter the market and not the last one. 
out for the devil where the devil uh, a chick <laughs> translation is funny <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> this is Islam. So Muhammad clearly saying that Shaitan he have eggs and he lay eggs, and he is saying you don't enter the first one in the market. Okay, so now who is going to enter the market? And what would happen to me if I be the first to enter the market? Let us say Shaitan he lay his eggs there. What will happen to me exactly if I enter <laughs> the market? <laughs> What exactly will happen to me? And now no Muslim will enter the market to be the first one. And no Muslim will stay to be the last. What does that mean? All the Muslims, they have, they have to leave together? I do not know Arab from Bahrain. Actually, Bahrain is not an Arab land. Bahrain never been an, uh, an Arab land. Most of those people in Bahrain, they are either from uh, you know from Iran they are it's a mix it's even Saudi Arabia if you go and check those who live in Bahrain Kuwait Emirat Saudi Arabia you will find that most of them they look like Pakistani I will show you I, even though I'm, I'm changing the topic now because of the chat here give me a second <clears throat> Take a look. This is the Prince of Qatar. Isn't him a Pakistani? Be honest with me. Isn't this is a guy, a Pakistani guy? Isn't it? They're Pakistani. They are not, there's nothing it's called Arab. There's nothing is called Arab. Arab is not an ethnic. Me myself, I call myself an Arab, but in fact, there's no ethnic is called Arab. Look at uh, look look. This is his father. Pakistani. Why? Because if you look at the map, you will find that a few hours in the sea. Even if you are using the old ship, like not now, like you know, it's going to take half hour to be in Pakistan. Pakistan across the border. At that time, it used to be India, right? I mean, Pakistan is a new country. So, obviously, those are the fruits and the children of Pakistan, the Indian ethnic. There's nothing it's called Arab. What Arab? If you go and see actually even their local clothing, it's not what they say to you. Like now, look, look now, he is wearing this uh, Arabian clothes supposedly. But this is something new. Before they didn't use the, 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 the clothes. This is always something new. Go go and check the clothing of people in Yemen. Check the clothes in Bahrain, the clothes in Qatar, the clothes in, in Emirat, and you will find that they are dressing the same as Indian. Actually, let me show you something more. I don't know how many of you. So Muslim doing Hajj. When Muslim they do Hajj, did you see how they dress? They dress exactly like Hindu practicing their religion. And let me show you some images. Take a look. Do you see it? This is what the Hajj. The Hajj is 100% an Indian practice. Isn't it? This is how the, the Hindu they dress, especially the monk. And they shave their head. Not only they dress like this, they shave their head. 
This guy now is throwing a rock at the shaitan. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> the Muslims, they believe that shaitan, he has a house, and now they are throwing rocks at shaitan. Shaitan. Yeah, shaitan. <laughs> and by the way, if you go there, you better be careful because 99% of the rocks, they will fill in your head because there's no way this guy can hit. He's far away. Look, let me show you the crowd. Let me show you how big the crowd is. How you can hit this thing? So if a person he is standing at the end, how he can hit this person? And by the way, even the shaitan house, the Saudi people, they change it. The Saudi people, they change it. It used to be different. Let me see if I can find you the old one. <laughs> even shaitan house became from concrete. <laughs> they update the shaitan house. Look, this is the original shaitan house. It was a column made from, uh, 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 you know, uh, stones. And the Muslims go around it and they throw their rocks. Do you see it? And this column collapses every few, you know, uh, I mean, every every year because they throw rocks at it, you know. Uh, look how big the number, throw rocks at this thing. Let us see if we can show you more, more clear. Yeah, this is an old picture. Look at this. Look how small it was. Small, tiny, and, and they put a fence around it. And this is where they used to throw the rocks. Now, look what happened. Let me show you the new, the new house of Shaitan. The new house of Shaitan have a concrete, have two floors, look like a ship. <laughs> Hey Muslims, are you allowed to update the house of Shaitan? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, how you believe in this? Look how big the column in the middle. Like the because people complain we can't hit it. You have to hit it. You have to hit the column. And before the column was so small, so tiny, and now look how big, made it from a very strong concrete. <laughs> look how big the column, and there's two floors, three floors. You see, those are from the second floor. <laughs> from this, oh, this is the this is the, the the one before it. Hold on, and then to this, this, this. Look how deep. <laughs> And and they have soldiers to protect it. I mean, my friend. I mean, this is the house of Shaitan. You see, they have police to protect the house of Shaitan. But what if somebody he decide to live there? <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, look, this guy. Those are the rocks they carry, so they can hit the Shaitan in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find just an old an old images. Hold on. Look at this guy. This guy is taking a selfie. He's throwing the the the, the stones. <laughs> hey brother, selfie selfie. I'm hitting the shaitan in his head. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is hilarious. Oh boy. Yeah. Look, this is an old one. You see the old one? This is the old one. Do you see it? <laughs> Look at this guy here. Look at this guy. All of them, they want to throw the rocks at the house of Shaitan, brother. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Look how excited this old man is. Everybody and the poor shaitan is collecting the rocks. <laughs> hmm. Everybody is naked too. All of them they are naked. They have just a sheet around themselves. Yeah, this is the old house of shaitan. Look how it is. You see the old house of shaitan. Uh, by the way, in Arabic here, I don't know who posted this picture. He says, what is the wisdom of throwing rocks at this? 
but shaitan is not visible and we can't see him as shaitan is there I mean what this is a this is a pagan practice which and shaitan house is in the same city of Allah house they are neighbor really look at this It's a pure practice of a pagan religion. Look how they made the column from a small, tiny one. Look how big this wall of concrete because everybody now want to hit it. <clears throat> and now Shaitan is waiting for you to hit him in his head. He's there. I mean, Shaitan is waiting there. You see how, how religion can, can, uh, can fool millions of people? I mean, what is that? People they fly, they spend a lot of money to go there and to, to do this. They asked the prince of Saudi Arabia about like Saudi, if what would do if you have if you are out of oil? He said, We have the Kaaba. It's the biggest business. Millions of people they have to visit, spend their money, sleep in hotels buy goods buy gifts buy food and fly it's a great business Look, look, this is the house of Shaitan. I found you an old picture. Look how, how look how small it is. Do you see the old house of Shaitan? Do you see how it is now? This is the old house of Shaitan. Before the oil of the, the, the money of the oil <laughs> and before the concrete. <laughs> oh boy. And you know, and look how small is small the number. And you will see around it there was a bazaar, there was a market, and now all of this is gone. You know, everything changed there. Even the Kaaba, the Kaaba used to be small, tiny. Let me show you the old images of the Kaaba. Hold on. Give me a second. Before oil and after oil. Just to show you what money can do it's like those actors before they become famous they look something and after they became famous and they have money they look something else totally different Now look at this those are old pictures of the Kaaba look at this there's no even roof look at that there's no tiles in the floor dust and dirt a room in the middle Stores around it. Those are stores. Those are stores. That's not a mosque. People they buy, and you can tie your camel in the side, and then you go around the Kaaba and look how many people are there. That's it. This is the Kaaba. This is before the oil. After they have oil, they start fixing. So they start building. And the look is changing. old pictures this is a very old picture look at this this is the Kaaba I think this is maybe a hundred years ago only I mean when the when the first time there's a camera I'm not sure when the first time the camera was discovered 
I am not good with information about uh, camera history. But do you see what the Kaaba was? Just a small, tiny room. Nothing like the cover you see now. It's not high. The door is just a piece of wood. You see it? This is the Kaaba. The Kaaba today is something totally different. It's big, high, nice uh, stones. Even the, they change everything. Even the stones are not the same color. The the roof is concrete. The uh, the ground is marble. I mean, all the Kaaba. There's no Kaaba. The Kaaba is gone. The Kaaba they used to have before is gone. This is here. They are repairing the Kaaba from inside. And look, Mecca was empty just a hundred years ago. This is after they start having money. However, there is a point I'd like to mention to you that Allah, <clears throat> another proof that Allah is a false God. No, my Skype is off. Another, another, because we are getting calls from a bunch of kids playing songs and etc. I just, you did not hear it? It was on. Somebody playing a song. Uh, let me show you. How we can prove easy that Islam is false. Take a look with me. <clears throat> the Kaaba every year is a flooded by rain, and that will bring the sewage. There's no sewage in Mecca, by the way. There's no sewage in Saudi Arabia. If Allah is God, how Allah He chose the worst location where the Kaaba will be flooded every year. The Muslim they claim. That the Kaaba location is decision made by Allah Himself. You know what I mean? If Allah He made the decision to locate the Kaaba, then why the Kaaba is in the worst location? Uh, if so, if Abraham built the Kaaba, how is this small thing being abrogated? What did, he, what did it look? Like in the time of Abraham, there is no Abraham. You have nothing to do with this. What Abraham? <laughs> what Abraham? Actually, even according to Islam, the Muslim they claim that the first one who built the Kaaba it was the angels of Allah. Then Allah He told Adam to come all the way from India, and this is why I'm telling you the roots of those who call themselves Arab today, they are from India. Even Adam, according to Islam, he landed from heaven in Sri Lanka today, which is part of India. And then Allah, he ordered him to do Hajj. And when he arrived to Mecca, he found 40,000 angels waiting for him. And they are singing for him. And they said to, do, they said to him, we did Hajj here 2,000 years before you. But look at this. The Kaaba. Is covered by what? Look at this guy. He's swimming. Do you see the guy? Do you see the guy swimming? <laughs> so if Allah is God and He chose the location of the Kaaba, and this is the best location of the Kaaba, why Allah He chose such a location where the flood will be covering it every year? I mean, imagine you 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 ask an engineer uh, to uh, to find you a place for your house. And then he finds you a house, uh, a location, where every year the land will be flooded. How horrible. Look at this. There is more horrible uh, pictures for the flood, but I don't see any, not, not too many.
actually if you can you can search right now in YouTube by the way search for the flood in Mecca it is the worst location for the whole city because Mecca and the Kaaba specifically is surrounded by small hills so when there is little rain come all the rain go down to the slow point which is the Kaaba <clears throat> Actually, I, I made a video. It's called uh, uh, Seeking Allah, Finding Death. Let's see. Yeah, here we have. And actually, just two weeks ago, three weeks ago, oh, you know, this is this this is in the, in Mecca. Look at this. This is in Mecca every year until now. Nothing changed. This is in Mecca. Mecca is the worst location ever to build a city. Look, the cars are flying with the water. This is the Kaaba swimming by the mud. I mean endless pictures and this is the pictures if you remember when the cockroaches and insect they attacked the Kaaba just a few a few weeks ago and look what the Muslims they said about this uh, incident when when the when the insect uh, they attacked the Kaaba the Muslim they said because the Prince of Saudi Arabia the Crown Prince he allowed the women to sing in Saudi Arabia Allah he is showing his anger, but look, let me show you how stupid this idea is. So the prince of Saudi Arabia, he allow a woman to sing. So Allah, he want to show his anger by making cockroaches attacking his house. What about attacking the house of the prince? <laughs> you know what I mean? The Kaaba is the house of Allah, is not the house of the prince. What about Allah showing his anger and make all the cockroaches in the world attacking the prince house? I mean, do you see how silly this is? So now Allah is upset from a Christian prince. What he do? He made the cockroaches attack the Kaaba. Like attack a Christian prince. <laughs> I mean, the intelligence is high. Hmm? What's wrong with you? Allah, he, he, he make the cockroaches attack the Kaaba because the prince him, but the, the prince don't live there. They don't even, he, he don't even live in that city. He live more than 600 kilometers away. All right. <clears throat> Question: Where is the Quran? Does it say Shaitan has a house? Where? Why build, remodel the house of Shaitan? And why would Shaitan say in how stay in house where people will keep attacking? My friend, there's a book. I wish I can get it. It's called Interview with Shaitan. Hold on. You see, guys, you open your topic now. <clears throat> Let me find you something. Shaitan, according to Muslims, uh, he's a genie. Genies are creatures created from fire, but they live in houses with us, not in their own houses. Uh, and Muslim genie, he lived with Muslim family. Christian genie, he lived with a Christian family. Hindu genie, he lived with the Hindus. Let us see. <clears throat> 
signs of the house and the genie in the house disturbing the electricity Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the jinn will play with the flame <laughs> Seeing small stones being thrown inside the house and the door are closed So your doors are closed and then now you see stones thrown inside the house. It is a genie Seeing small stones being thrown inside the house and the, do and, and the doors are closed. Okay Moving object. So you are a home and object that start moving. Oh, hold on. I have the cup of coffee in front of me It's not moving. Oops I split some coffee in the I think this is the genie he did that <laughs> and then when the plates are dropped from the hands of the people or doors slamming if you are if you are holding a dish and the dish fell down from your hand that's because a genie is trying to take the dish Prophet Muhammad said if you hear the dog parking or the donkey brain in the night time do not go out of your house shut the door in the name of allah bismillah and cover the plates and the glasses if 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 if, if. <laughs> things being stolen from the house cause fitna mm. so like you know uh, uh, your wife she have a ring and the ring is gone don't accuse your son because he is selling it to buy some drugs. No, no, no. It's a genie. <laughs> let us let us continue. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, smashing uh, something was stolen from the prophet house. And Jibreel told him to seek refuge in Allah as jinn were trying to cause fitna between him and his wife. So Muhammad started accusing his wives. Who took this? It was the genie, brother. Burning in the house. That is a genie. Strange sound or voices in the home. Genie. Strong wind in the home. Uh, in the home and the wind and the doors are closed. Genie whispering or moving of a tree in the home tree inside the house you know like you have a yard footsteps going upstairs and downstairs hearing voices of people the jinn could take the form of a spider or ant or a lizard but not a mouse <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> so <coughs> I don't know guys if the text is clear for you is it clear uh, the the background of the the, the website it is uh, it's kind of uh, you know dark so the jinn he can take a form of a lizard or a spider or even an ant so if you see an ant in your home simply this is a genie or a spider that's true the jinn could take the form of a spider or an ant or a lizard but not a mouse so take it uh, take into consideration it's not a mouse if you see an animal say bismillahir rahman ar rahim three times anytime you see an animal See, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Cat, a dog, because it might be a shaitan. <laughs> remember, Muhammad, he says the black dog is what? Do you remember? The black dog is a devil. Uh, uh, Ali Mahmoud. What Ali Mahmoud he want? Ali Mahmoud, when I talk to me? <coughs> Ali Mahmoud, you want to talk to me? Let us see what Ali Mahmoud want to say. Answer Ali. <coughs> yeah. 
Yes, Ali. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, do you hear me, Ali? I don't know that your voice is very low. Can you speak louder, please? Sorry? Hear me better now. It's very low. Hardly. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry. Fix fix your uh, uh, microphone and call me back, okay? All right. Yeah. All right. It looked like Ali, he has something very important he want to tell us. Very important. And when a, when a Muslim, he have something important, it's mean it's important. I hope you will not tell us about the genie and the spider in our house. Strange a human being in the house, he is a genie. Half a human, top half a human with a strange legs or part animal. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Hello? Hi, can you hear me better now? Yes, I hear you. Uh, my mic wasn't working properly. Yeah, you are the one who curse always, right? Pardon? You, you want to curse? Are you the one who curse us always? No, I don't curse anyone. Oh, okay, maybe they, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, well, I was advertised to uh, debate Sam Shimon, but he pulled out because he said all, all, he all, needed everybody, he needed every, everybody run away. And I, I remember you. You call, you know, you call us many times and you curse Sam Shimon. I remember you. Now, what do you want to say? That's what I wanted to say. Was he? He had. Okay, get lost. This is what you want to say? Everybody is laughing. Uh, everybody is running away from you. Here we go. You are calling me. You know, potato. <laughs> so you call me to tell me you want to debate Christian uh, Sam Shamoon. So are you going to call Sam Shamoon to say to him you want to debate Christian Prince? What a potato! <clears throat> uh. Actually, uh, let us go and see what he said in the text. You see, when he called me, he, he turned into a cat. Uh, in the text, he was a lion. He didn't want to debate. Uh, he want to debate Sam Shamun. Uh -huh. And I'm sure if he sees Sam Shamun, he will run away from him. Uh, let me go back and see what this guy was saying in the text. Just to get him busted. Ali Mahmoud. Yes, Muhammad. Hello. Yes, Muhammad. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, I just want to clarify. You said uh, the Jamarat in Mecca is uh, the house of Satan. So who, is who, who live there then? then who, what is Jamarat? Yeah, no one lives there. It's, it's, it's a place where the stoning ritual happens. Wait, wait, because, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So, if you know that shaitan is not there, you are stoning who? We're not stoning anyone. So, it's, it's, what, a, it's, it's a symbolic uh, ritual. What's symbolic? What, what, what's symbolic of what? I mean, uh, why you to have to go to a certain place and you have to say certain words in that place? I mean, if shaitan is everywhere, so why, what the point of going in certain place? And then we have to throw 13 rocks. All right, give me give me two minutes. I can explain it to you. Okay, go ahead. Um, so Imam Ghazali, he, he's one of the scholars of Islam. He says in Hiyalulumadin, he says, as for the stoning of Jamarat, the purpose behind it is to follow the command and uh, manifest submission and servitude to Allah. Uh, and then he goes on to say that it's, it's also the aim is to imitate Ibrahim Islam when Iblis, uh, you know, Satan came appeared to him in the in that place to instill confusion in his mind or tempt him to sin, and Allah commanded him to throw stones at him so as to drive him away and dash his hopes. Mm. If you ever think that Satan appeared to him and he saw him, and and that is why he stoned him. I, but as for me, the Satan did not appear to me. It, it should be noted that this thought is from the Satan 
and uh, he's the one that, yeah so in a nutshell we copy what ibrahim did um okay let, and let me, when, let we, when we throw this okay stone, okay let, let, me, let me ask you a, okay here we go thing. we have the quran in front of us and i want you to show me where ibrahim he throw stones at shaitan where we can yeah, find this story I don't know where you can find the story, but this so, is what this called. So you Muslims, before. okay. So you Muslims, you copy each other, but you do not ask yourself, well, who is the first one who fabricated this story? What if the story is a fabrication? No, for my knowledge, it's not fabrication. W why it's not? I mean, you have no source of it. W what, what what this is for, from? Where what is coming from? I think from libel scholars. So what? Uh, who? Like who? I mean, do you take your religion from? Okay, let me ask you: Is Al Ghazali is a is a scholar or he is a prophet? Is Hujjatul Islam? What Hujjatul Islam? What does that mean? He's a proof for Islam. He, he's such an intellectual person. Okay, so uh, if, if Al Ghazali, okay, if Al Ghazali, he says something, that's mean you have to approve it, right? Not necessarily, but what do you mean? A second ago, he is Hujjatul Islam. Hujjatul Islam means the proof of Islam. Translate Hujjatul Islam to people, please. Yeah, proof of Islam. Yeah. Okay, so if this guy he became the proof of Islam. And you, you acknowledge him with such a huge name. I mean, uh, uh, to say such a thing, he is this guy, he is equal to a prophet. So he is the proof of Islam. So you copy a story from him just because he said the story? He's a reliable person. Okay, let me ask you. You do a, 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 a manat, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you Muslims, you, you do certain rituals in the, in the Kaaba. Who is behind the rituals of Islam? So, uh, like a stoning, I just told you. What do you mean? Like, who is behind it? What? As an example, a Safa, a Safa, a Safa, and Al Marwa. Who is behind a Safa and Al Marwa? What is a Safa? Explain to people here. So, these are two mountains where um, a woman called Hajra she was running um, between the mountains, and the reason was. Um, Ibrahim Islam, the Prophet Abraham, he left his peop uh, he left his wife uh, and the son in the in the desert. Hmm. So uh, she was looking for water, and then uh, Zamzam appeared. So there's water that appeared from the ground. Hmm. Uh, it was a miracle from Allah. And hmm. let, let yeah, me ask you: Do the kuffar believe in Abraham? Uh, maybe they follow his tradition. Well, how they follow his tradition, but they don't believe in him. It's possible. It's, it's what been, do you mean the possible? I mean, they don't a, believe in Abraham. A person can, you know, a how, person you Muslim, can, how you Muslim you say that Muhammad was the only one Abrahamic and the rest are not. So how the Muslims, they claim such a thing that he was Abrahamic and those kuffar, the reason they are not, they are kuffar because they aren't Abrahamic. Now suddenly you say no, to they, me that the kuffar... No, the reason they are kuffar is because they took the idols as gods. Okay, let me ask you. When Muhammad, he said, as Safa and Marwa, it's okay to do it, was because of what? It's, 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 like I said, these are our rituals. Uh, no, 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 no. The Muslims, they, the Muslims, no, the Muslims, they complain. They say this is this is pagan. We will not do it. Is that true? Or I'm making things up? They say it's pagan. I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah, this is pagan because the the Arab they used to go between two those two hills simply because supposedly there's a story, a legion story, that there is a a man and a woman. They have six in the Kaaba, and. Uh, uh, Allah he cursed them the moon God and he made them uh, stones Is that true um, and they used to so go between, uh, and they and used then, to go between those two idols is that true yeah I, heard something like, yeah I heard something like that okay so so this is what al is. the Arab they are not practicing Abraham read with me carefully this is the book of Asbab and Nuzul not my book this is your book let me zoom out you will see that the Muslims they did not like it this is why the Quran came chapter 2 verse 158 says that al marwa min al fa man al it's not a sin to do a al marwa it's not a sin yeah okay why yeah. they thought it's a sin that means some people they thought it's a sin right uh, read that again it's not a sin to uh, to practice as safal marwa he will go the verse in front of us there's therefore there is no sin the marwa and uh, the safa and the marwa are among the indication of ritual of allah if there uh, so it is there no therefore no sin for him 
who do that. Your God saying that. This is wrong. So what made yeah, the so Muslim, okay? So, so what the Muslims? Uh, what made the Muslim think there is a sin if we do a safa al marwa? Why? Why? Why they think it's a sin? Read me carefully. It says here. <clears throat> This verse revealed about a group of people from the helper Al Ansar before Islam. They used to go and make a privilege to Manat and were forbidden. This is where Manat is, and they were forbidden from going between a Safa and Marwa. Those people they worship Manat, a Safa is from the ritual of Manat. So, and they were forbidden from going between a Safa and Marwa when they went to do Hajj with Allah Messenger, which means now they became Muslims. Allah bless him and give him peace. They mentioned to this to him. It was a request only for this group. This group, they said to him, we are used to do a Safar Marwa. You know, we, we like it. Look what Muhammad, he said. So Allah revealed this verse. So Muhammad, you know, I'm not insulting. I'm saying to you what I believe. Muhammad, because he's a hypocrite man, just because a group of Al-Ansar, who they are pagan, and now they converted to Islam, and he don't want to lose them. They said to him, we like to do a Safar Marwa. The rest of the Muslims, they don't do that. Only Allah. Yeah, Allah, Allah replaced the rituals. So what's the problem? What replace? I mean, do you replace? Why would they, why would they okay, are you saying to me, Allah, he changed? No, 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 no. A second ago, you told me this is about Abraham and his wife. And suddenly, it is yeah, about Manah. Yeah, it is. It's, no, no, no it it's not. Read carefully so, with me. No, read carefully with me. This is narrated by Muslim from report of Abu Bakr, etc., etc., etc. It says, we dislike... We dislike who is saying Anas ibn Malik. We dislike going between a Safa and al Marwa. Why Anas ibn Malik dislike to go between a Safa and Marwa? You give me an answer. If this is what Abraham wife she did, why he dislike? Because maybe the pagan Arabs did it wrong stuff. Because this is the shrine of the pagan. This is not the ritual only. This is the shrine of the pagan. It's in front of you. It says because they were the shrines of Quraysh. In the pre that, period, no, no, how does that affect Islam in any way? That's the question I'm asking. It's very easy to explain it. Muhammad, because if he is a true prophet, he will not accept under any condition to take a pagan shrine to be part of his shrine. The prophet can replace the uh, rituals no. that they're doing. What do you mean he can replace? What belief? do you mean he can replace? This is not he did not replace, he, ex he, he returned back to it. The, the people used to go around the Kaaba before Islam. The people they used to cause the black stone before Islam. The uh, 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 women they used to go naked around the Kaaba before Islam. Men they put a sheet around themselves and they replace their clothes in, uh, before Islam. This is exactly used to do. They shave their head before Islam, and they slaughter before Islam, and they cut the hand before Islam for a thief. And now Muhammad, just because Al Ansar, they said to him, "This is a shrine of us. We like it." Muhammad is saying yeah, it's not saying. They must have took it from Prophet, Prophet Ibrahim or something. They must have learned Where that. Where is Ibrahim here? Yeah. Read carefully. Do you see Ibrahim in the story? It is the shrine. This is Anas ibn Malik, not me. Saying we dislike going between a Safa and Marwa because this is where the shrine of Quraysh in the pre Islamic. And not only that, it says, read carefully. So then Allah revealed the verse, said, Omar ibn Hubaysh, etc. I asked Omar, blah, 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 and Safa Marwa. And in Safa, there was an idol for a man called Esau. And on Al Marwa, there's an idol uh, 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 which supposedly for a woman, her name is Naila. The people of the book claimed that those two had committed adultery in the Kaaba and has punished by Allah and turned them into two stones. <laughs> uh, now, where is Abraham in the story? Obviously, the Arab. They are worshipping those things. They have idols. They worship them. They practice them, and they are part of their religion. And Muhammad, just because he, he wanna, he don't wanna lose those people who they are Al-Ansar. They like it. They practice it. So you know what? Let us do it. Ibrahim Islam is in the Quran, so he he basically he him and the son they built it. Where so is Abraham in the Quran? Where, where, where is in the Quran? Where in the Quran it says as Safa and Al Marwa is from Abraham? Can you show me? Um, uh, it's not in the Quran. Never. 
So I can find uh, where he left. Uh, I can find maybe in so, some scripture. My friend, what what scriptures? Left, what are you talking uh, about? This here we go. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. The book, the book of Asbab and Nuzul is so clear. There's two idols of a man and a woman, and those people they believe in them and they worship them and they practice their shrine. This is their shrine. Who the 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 Ansar? The Ansar is the one who made Muhammad change his ritual and add additional to the Kaaba. Additional to the regime uh, Jamarat, uh, throwing the rocks at the shaitan house. Additional to that, he had this just because uh, somebody requested the same as the Kaaba. Who is the one who made Muhammad uh, pray to the Kaaba? Do you know? Uh, Allah revealed the revelation. That's not true. That's not true. It was Omar. Well, Omar, he said, My Lord agreed with me in three things. Yeah, where's the print for the cover? Okay, so Omar is the one who made the decision. Why he made the decision? Where, where's the seller? Why he made the decision? My Lord agreed with me in three three things. The translation is funny. In the case yeah, of the I, station I, I, of Abraham, I, 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 okay. Let me ask you, who is who is Abu uh, who is Omar to this to decide for the Muslims? That the Kaaba should be the place of station to pray. Who is a he's a prophet? Oh, that's uh, Muqam Ibrahim, not the not not the Qibla. What do you mean? The, 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 this is the Kaaba, uh, Muqam Ibrahim. No, this is the Kaaba. This is talking about the Kaaba. They used to pray in the direction of of, uh, of Jerusalem. And now they switch. Now this no, is no, this is, this is we took the station of Ibrahim as some other yes, place. Yes, be, before it was not that's, the station of Abraham. Yeah, that's, now. Muqam Ibrahim. that's not that's not the Kaaba. No, this is the Kaaba. I think you misunderstand me. No, like, my friend, uh, no, my friend, this is the Kaaba. Aren't you the one who said to me that, okay? Who is the one who built the Kaaba? Ibrahim as well, yeah. Okay. And why this is not the station of Abraham then? Because uh, the station where he stood on, uh, that was uh, it's called Muqam Ibrahim, where he stood. Is it in the and Kaaba? So is it in the square of the Kaaba? Is that is that in the square of the Kaaba? It's near the Kaaba. Was behind. It's, it is in the Kaaba. It's what like a meter a meter away, two meter away. How 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 far away? <laughs> come on, listen. Yeah. So, about, yeah. Okay. So it's the on, goal. Go, go, it's go, go, the, it's first the, of all, first of all, the, the goal, Kaaba. Uh, the Kaaba today, you can go and search right now. Even the Kaaba is moved. This is not the correct location. The Kaaba totally moved, and you can go right now, search and go, and you will find this is the truth. But I don't care about that. Who is this guy, Omar, who decide the direction of the prayer to make the station of a prayer, which is the Kaaba, is the station for all Muslims? Yes, who so is Umar, Umar mm -hmm. who he desired that the Muslim pray, pray where Ibrahim Islam stood mm -hmm. uh, and he built the Kaaba from. So he desired that. So and but, then Allah but this, mean, but this is mean that the Kaaba is 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 built by Allah. As Muslims they claim by Allah angels even before he created Adam 2,000 years is a big fat lie because it was desire of Omar not desire of Allah and that's mean that the and oh, hold on hold on do you see what it says here did you see can you, can you read with me but this, uh, my Lord agreed with me okay read uh, I change the location please and bad ones talk to them so no, read what, right. I, what I highlighted. Do you see the highlight? So this verse, the same as I had said, was revealed. Unbelievable. Allah, he not only he agreed with Omar, he took his words one by one. And he made it Quran, and it became an order. How Allah, he says, nobody can make Quran like my Quran. No genie, no human being. Yet this Quran is made by Omar, word by word. The, no, the, 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 uh, when Allah says no one can make a Quran like his, there's uh, many factors you consider. One is that millions of people recite it. Can you show me one one uh, surah that's uh, that's uh, memorized and recited by millions of people? No, 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 no. First of all, my friend, over history, my, my, friend, years. my, my mother, she memorized the Bible from the first page to the last page. This is number one. As have, have a million people have done that? There is, yeah, there is a lot. You know, there's, there's millions of people. Yes, even there's people that memorize it not only in the Arabic, in even in Aramaic, the Aramaic language, and not only that, they sing it. They sing the whole Bible. You can go right now, type in Google, type uh, 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 singing the Bible Aramaic, and you will hear it. They, they sing the whole Bible, all of it. Not only that, they sing it. Uh, they sing it three times. 
the four gospels in one night especially in the in the night of Easter four gospels they sing it three time the gospel singing now listen you memorize does not make you a person who knows what I'm talking about you are memorizing but you don't understand you don't even speak the language and this is very funny it so, it's, it's no, this revelation. no this is not revelation here we go this is the revelation of Omar if Allah, Allah why Allah how Allah agree with Omar it's not Omar it's not uh, Omar agree with Allah it's Allah agree with Omar the hijab is made by Omar threatening the wives he, of Muhammad of divorce is, is made so by Allah, Omar it's according to the circumstances Allah reveals the revelation no, so uh, no hold on okay it. so why Allah he said it as I said explain that to me word by word who is copying who Omar he said that in front of Muhammad Muhammad he like it he make a Quran it's very simple that's in brackets anyway so so what that's in brackets so that, no that, no no that, it says that it says this this what it says in Arabic what does it say it says this is how it came in Arabic and this is why he's yeah, saying say, yeah, say, say, say in Arabic my friend it says Omar وافقت ربي في ثلاث فقلت يا رسول الله لو اتخذنا من مقام إبراهيم مصلى فنذرت واتخذ من مقام إبراهيم مصلى exactly word by word it's in the front of you so he says that Allah revealed the ayah what revealed the ayah it's Omar who said that it's just Omar he said that Omar he said the ayah not Allah let me ask you did your prophet says that if there is a prophet will be after me that would be Omar yeah why he said that because he's got high ranking uh you know he, his decision was according to islam how, how, like how he is high ranking i mean his natural disposition hold on who is muhammad to say who can be a prophet after him he, he got that from revelation uh, so allah he changed his mind the, whatever the prophet says is revelation no you are saying to me he got it from revelation Muhammad, he was revealed to him from Allah that a prophet after him came. It could be Omar. Of course, that's revelation divinely. Where, where you get this revelation from? So why he is not a prophet then? The, the prophet said that if if there ever was, and then he said no, no, no. What, what do you mean if? Yeah. I mean, what do you mean if? What do you mean if? Either if, so if, if hold on. You just said to me this is revelation from Allah. All right. Okay. So. If yep. Allah he said to him, Omar will be uh, uh, Allah revealed to him, Omar will be a prophet, or if Omar will be, if there is a prophet, will be Omar. Yeah, if yeah. Whoa, so what does that mean? I mean, this is silly. How Allah he says that? Well, I mean, I mean, the prophet said that if 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 there was ever a prophet a prophet after me, it would be Omar. But there's no prophet after me. Hey, hold on. So what the point of saying if there's a prophet after me will be no, Omar? The point, yeah, the point is to show the rank of Omar that his rank is such high that you need to respect him, honor him, and uh, yeah, love it. What do you mean, replay? Uh, so, so Muhammad, are you saying Muhammad is fabricating things and just to make people obey Omar? Not fabricating. So who is he? Rank. Because this is very dangerous, my friend. His when you say no, 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 no. That when you say, it. when you say. That the messenger of Allah said, if there was to have a prophet after me, it would be have been Omar ibn al Khattab. Yep. First of all, who is Muhammad to say such a statement? You said to me this is a revelation. He's a prophet of Allah. So no, no, no. Yeah, you said to me this is a revelation. Okay. So of course, yeah, Allah told sorry. Muhammad to say that. Does that mean that also, Muhammad here announced that Omar ibn al Khattab is a prophet going to be after me? No, because the prophet in the same sentence said there is no prophet after me. Where? So that hold, hold on. Where? Where? Here we go. The hadith in the front of me doesn't say that. Doesn't say that. He said that there is no prophet after me. I'll find it if you want it. Okay. There was a prophet after me. I, I know there's a hadith that says there's no prophet after me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Muhammad, he when he say. If there is a prophet to be, is going to be Omar, obviously, because he is copying it from Omar. Omar, he got him busted. Omar, he says something. Muhammad, he take it, he put it in the Quran, and Omar, he says, my, my Lord, agree with me in three things. Now, Muhammad, when I explain why he is 
or his God agreeing with Omar so he come with this he said if there is a messenger to be after me that it be Omar because obviously he's a prophet sign it's not Muhammad the prophet already he's a prophet he's just a prophesy Omar he prophesy he said the Kaaba he said the hijab he said the the wives will be threatened he prophesy and Allah he took his words and he make it Quran so Muhammad he yeah, has, Allah, Allah reveals revelation quoted to the circumstance so simple what circumstances I mean what this point of this I mean, is a circumstance a reason he decided hold, hold on. So Allah who, who is more important Islam Uthman ibn Affan or Omar uh, Omar why the higher ranking that's not true that's actions. not true isn't it isn't it your prophet was showing his legs and then he did not cover himself unless uh, until Uthman he came yeah that's because of modesty and uh, what no it doesn't no. he he he's a different he said he's still no, no he said that the angels are shy when they see Uthman yeah okay the angels are not shy when they see Omar so who is the who is the best between those people then according to your prophet if the angels are shy when they see Uthman who is the one the angels they respect more I mean come on from be, other be honest. from the narrations we know that um, because the prophet gave an order and he, in, in a certain order he said Abu Bakr fil Jannah Umar fil Jannah Uthman fil Jannah and then Ali fil Jannah and so, hmm. so Abu Bakr is higher than according to you yeah, of course. Okay, so why Abu Bakr will not be a, so why Abu Bakr will not be a prophet? Why he did not say if Abu Bakr is first? Why he did not say if there is a prophet to be after me will be Abu Bakr? The answer is very simple, because Omar was copying uh, Muhammad was copying from Omar. And here, let me ask you about this hadith, as long as we mention it. Why Muhammad is showing his legs, and he is not modest, sitting in front of his men almost naked, and when no, man he entered. No, 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 this is a lower part of the leg, so this is like uh, I, I, below the knee. What do you mean? I mean, obviously, it won't be showing the knee because it's haram to show the knee. It's haram to show the knee? Yeah, it's haram to show from the belly, uh, from the navel to the knee. No, it says here, Kashifan an fakhdayhi. You know what fakhdayhi mean? His thigh. It's the thigh of his legs. Do you see it? It's in front of you. An Fakhdayhi. Let me hide. Yeah, what, what does uh, scholars say about it? You don't ask me about the scholars. Your scholars are not scholars. They are potatoes. So Muhammad was showing his the thigh of his legs almost, and there's no panty at that time. So Muhammad is showing his legs all the way up, almost naked. Omar, he entered, he did not fix his clothes. Uh, 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 Abu Bakr he entered he did not fix his clothes when Uthman he entered he covered himself what's the English translation there let me see I don't know okay uh, Allah messenger was laying in the bed in my apartment and his and he he, he uh, his thigh and cover do you see it um, yeah thigh okay covered. okay so when you when you have people around you in your house and you are a prophet of God are you going to show all the way to your top of your thigh and there's men entering your house is that okay and now look I mean, what the, happened look what happened the, the, the thigh is above the knee yeah, his legs I mean yeah so thigh thigh the whole thighs you know can be all the way to his testicles and Abu Bakr thought permission and enter he was given and Muhammad did not cover himself Omar he asked for permission to enter and he came and Muhammad he did not change when Uthman he entered he covered himself Aisha she said to him what's up Abu Bakr he entered you did not change the way you are you know you're exposing yourself Omar he entered you did not change and now Uthman he entered you change look what Muhammad said I should not show uh, shouldn't I show modesty to the one whom even even all uh, the angels show modesty? Oh, hold on. So your prophet saying he was not being modest with Abu Bakr and Omar. 
And this is yeah, that's a special treatment with tools. Uh, so a special again. treatment is I show you my legs or my ass. What does that mean? I mean, what's special treatment? That's special treatment saying that look, I'm showing modesty. No, 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 no. He, here your prophet he is agreeing that he have no modesty. His modesty only in the front of Uthman. In the front of the rest, he can show whatever he wants. No, the, the different levels of modesty. So is uh, this is like extra. So he's doing. So. What extra? What extra? My friend, he just said that. He said, shouldn't I show modesty? So which means he was not showing modesty. So now he is showing modesty because Uthman entered. So Uthman obviously is higher from Abu Bakr, higher from Omar. And, uh, you know, he is the one even he collect the Quran after that. The reason here, the reason Muhammad, he fixed his clothes because Muhammad, he take his money for a long time from Uthman. Uthman, the biggest donator, the rich man. So Uthman, the rich man, he entered the house. Muhammad, he changed the way he sat because this is an investor. So now we will not sit as we sit usually, showing our ass. Now here, let us ask you, the angels are shy from Uthman. Why? I mean, I mean, I don't know. Okay, are the angels shy from your prophet? Uh, we've got no idea. What do you mean you got an idea? Obviously not, because Muhammad is showing his legs in front of foreign people, and yet he is saying, now I will do modesty. So the angels are not shy from Muhammad when he is showing his legs. The angels are shy from Uthman. Who is Uthman? Why the angels are showing... But how do you know the angels are even there in the first place? Why? Your prophet, he just said that. He said, shouldn't I be modest from a guy? The angels are shy from him. So... He when he it's was general, that's it's not saying that the, the angels are there and having modesty. He's saying that no, no, general, no. He's saying oh, he's he's a, 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 you see, you are reading translation, my friend. Yeah. Okay, shouldn't be I ashamed from a man? The angels will be ashamed of of, of being him. Be, will be like you will be like in trouble because he show up. Yeah. So he's not. He's not saying that angels are there and. Been having modesty. He's saying that the angels do have it. What have the angels have it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Muhammad was showing his almost his ass. He did not no, cover. No. He did not cover when Uthman. He no, when when, when Omar when when Khalid, uh, uh, sorry when Omar and Abu Bakr. But when Uthman he entered, he changed the way. And why? Because don't you wear shorts? Is... Don't you wear shorts? Do what? Don't you wear shorts? Shorts. What in the short? summer, don't you wear short? There's no short at that time. There's no short. People don't even wear underwear. No, people wear undergarments. No, your prophet, he, you know what, you know, your prophet, he used even to dry his his hand in the wall. Of course, that, if that, them times, that's what they did. Oh, no, why? He have, uh, people, they have a clothes at that time. Why he dry his house? Yeah, they don't have tissue. They don't have all this stuff. So. No, 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 they have a fabric. They have fabric. Don't they have, they have a clothes? Don't they have a fabric to to, to yeah, dry your hair? Yeah, it costs hand? a lot of money. So when you when you have uh, sex and you do etc. or you do uh, a pollution, you you dry your hands in the wall. What we will have in the wall? Because so uh, painting. No, you you wash your hands and then you dry it. You dry it where? On the wall. Uh, they did that in the past. But Muhammad, he touched the ground first. He touched the ground and then he touched the wall. Yeah, so does he put it on the soil? But and the ground the is not a tire. The ground is dirt. You know, the houses in the, in the time of Muhammad, they are dirt. This is a, a house, a desert house. So when you touch, yeah, if, what's you, the problem? if your hands is is wet and you touch the dirt and then you dry your hand in the wall, what happened to your wall? Nothing. You just gets very muddy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, what do you think about somebody having lice? Lice? Hmm. Mm. Uh, it depends where you live in. Of course, according to that, you what have is lice. The, what is the reason of lice? To have lice? Um, no idea. What is the reason? You don't know. If you don't, no, take, do you know the reason? If you don't take a shower, if you don't wash yourself, no. Uh, um, where do the lice even come from? Lice is an insect. Yeah, where does it come from? 
They are insects. Uh, what do you mean they come from? Yeah, so well, what's your point? I'm asking you, what do you think about somebody is full of lies? Um, like you said, maybe they never, maybe the cleanliness was not, uh, depending where, you, where they're living, the cleanliness was not, you know, perfect. No, is it, is it, was, is it, is it because of dirt? Is it because you are not taking a shower, you are not washing yourself? Possibly, possibly, because okay. in our times the people they have uh, lice and okay. they have showers every day, so uh -huh. it's, it's you can have lice without. Okay, but your prophet he said that um, uh, the prophets of Allah are examined by lice. Is that true? Where does he say that? I mean, each time I say something to a Muslim, he says to me why he says that. It's good to look at it. Okay, I will try to find it for you, but I'm just asking you now. Is that true that God I, uh, that God, I personally have read that God it, he examined his prophets by lies? Yeah, I personally I haven't read it, but if, if that happens, it's, it's a minor point. It's not a major point. What a major point. How Allah, how he examined you by lies? If someone has lies, it's just it's like part of the human. No, no, uh, it says Muhammad he says, in the al anbiya al-bala. We the people who they are prophets. Allah he double our suffering. How he said by 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 lies. So if you have a lies, that's mean you're a prophet because this is a double of suffering. Where's this narration? Huh? Where's this narration? Is it Sahih? This is yeah. This is uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> it says Sahih wa Sahih wa Hafiz. Then and even Al Albani he he said it's Sahih. Which kitab? Uh, you can read it from uh, uh, Abi Sa'id al Khudari. So, what do you say? So, he says Allah, that it's a test. Um, Allah, he double. He, yeah, uh, Allah, he tests his prophet by the lies. What's the problem with that? What do you mean? Why Allah he uh, test his prophet by lies? Is like, is lies like sex? Is lies? I mean, what? Why lies? Allah has to, uh, with a lot of things. Uh, you know, so now you prophet. are a prophet of God. You want to invite people to believe in this God, and then you are full of lies. And this is supposedly a test from God. What that will do? I mean, what that will do to you? What is the you benefit? Can be tested, you can be tested with lies in one day, and that's it. What? How do you how, how do you know you, you you said he's full of lies? But how do you know like is every day he had lies? How Allah is testing me by lies? I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand from you how how Allah is testing me by by making lies attacking me. What is that? Mm -hmm. I haven't read that narration anywhere before. Okay, can we can we call the lies names? Can we say we condemn the lies? Can we say uh, damn you lie, li lies? Can we say that? Um, I don't know. You're a prophet, he said. Don't curse the lies. Why? I'm trying to find it in English. I cannot find anything in English. Why we cannot curse the lies? Do you know? No. Nope. According to your prophet, because the lies they keep us, we, we know we cannot sleep if we have lies, so they keep us awake. Is that true? Uh, yeah, they do keep us awake. So now the lies are blessed animals. Why? Because they suck our blood and they keep us awake. We cannot, we cannot sleep. We have to keep itching. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about the lies. Ever Read carefully with me. Anas ibn Malik, this is your Muslim translation, reported that the man he cursed a fleas in the presence of the Prophet. May Allah bless him and grant him peace. The Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. He said, Don't curse them. A flea woke up one, a prophet for a prayer. <laughs> is that for real? <laughs>
Yeah, of course you shouldn't be cursing anything. It's uh, no, 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 no. He didn't Allah's say no, 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 no. You you curse all you know Muslims. You curse everything. You curse the Christians. You curse Jews. You curse the Hindus. You curse everything. Everything you curse your your children. No, no, of, no. We personally do not do that. No, you 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 do that. I can show you tons of prayer. Allahumma la'an. Allahumma la'an. Allahumma la'an. All your prayer is a cursing. Don't change the topic. Now, why? If a, if a, if a lies, she woke up a prophet to pray. Who is this prophet? Don't know. Is this a, a holy lie sent by Allah to wake up the prophet? It's just probably a normal fly. Okay, so why why this lie she woke up this prophet? And now because she woke up a prophet, we cannot curse the lies. So we can curse all the other animals, but the lies, no. We shouldn't curse anything. You know your prophet, he says, even kill the lizard, kill the dogs. What are you talking about? You kill yeah, the only... The yeah. scholar said there was you're, a... Uh, you're a prophet, he said, the enemy of time. Allah is the mice. The mice is the enemy of Allah. So why, why, how is that a blast to flee? What does that mean? I mean, don't curse it. Why? Because this uh, this lie, she woke up a prophet. What does that mean? She is eating his blood. She is sucking his blood. Since when this is good? So according to your prophet, in one statement, he say that the lies are a trial from Allah. In another verse, he says that lies are a blessing from Allah because they wake up to pray. No, this is not a lie. says flees. And my, my friend is the same and the insects second year blood that's what they do now fleas are different from lice okay what is a fleas explain to me let's uh, see how they look how they look um yeah they're kind of same look how beautiful they are so according to your prophet those are beautiful and they don't curse them <laughs> Don't curse them because you know Allah the creation of Allah the creation of Allah created you know you curse everything you curse all you curse a human being don't you pray every day five times a day it says Allah don't make us the same as the the the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews the cursed Jews yeah. you know it's the curse by who because by Allah not uh, okay and he did not say Jews no you ask Allah that. always the curse you ask Allah to curse it's not you who is cursing you cannot curse because supposedly you are not God but you ask Allah not, to curse. No, no, you're not translating it properly. Okay, it let says, me ask uh, you. Let me ask uh, you. Uh, if, a, if, a, if a woman, please, uh, if a woman, she take hair from her face. Who is the one who's going to curse her, Allah or you? If a woman, what? If a woman, she take hair from her uh, from her face. Yes, uh, it's Allah that. Uh, Why? Um, the change in the creation of Allah. What does that mean? So whatever Allah gave natural, they shouldn't uh, deviate from that. Okay. So now if a woman, she take hair from her face, Allah is going to curse her. Be honest with me. Do your wife no, take hair from her face? No, this is, this is a, uh, they can they, they take hair from it. If it's if it's uh, needed, but it shouldn't be to, you know, nowadays the women, they make it so thin and stuff like that, they're changing. Uh, the appearance how a woman should look. So if you change the appearance, Allah will curse you. That woman will be a curse, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so uh, is that because you are changing the creation of Allah? He made you, correct? Yes. So why you circumcise? Uh, because it's, it's a command of Allah, so He told us to do it. How Allah He command you to change the, His creation, and the same time He curse you if you change His creation. It's, it's like cutting your nails, so obviously Allah created you with nails, so you're going to uh, he told us to cut it. Okay, you know, so it, it okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So mm -hmm. if you, if a woman, she take care from her face, what is the business with Allah? How how that is against Allah? Because it, they're changing Allah, what Allah has created for that person. But you just said to me, you can cut your nails, and you as a Muslim man, you can even trim your mustache, and even you can shave, correct? 
Yeah, so I, even I can't do certain okay. things. Okay, so you can shave your hair from your if you're your face, and you are a man. But if a woman she take hair from her face, and she is a woman, Allah will curse her. Don't you think that this is absurd and this is really silly? She's a woman. She's the woman. She, he should make it the opposite. He should say, "Okay, well, if you are a man, you take hair from your face, I will curse you." But he do the opposite. He say, "If you are a man, it's okay. If you are a woman and you do that, I'll curse you." But the women they need to take hair from their face because they are females. No, even, no, even, uh, even with a male, if he if he takes his beard off, he'll be sinful. No, my friend, you can you can shave, and you'll be your prophet. He used to color his, his himself red head. Is it what? Muhammad? He color himself. Don't Muhammad he color his hair to make it red? His beard. No, his hair, all his hair. So, okay, beard. Let us go with the beard. So, a woman, she take hair from her face is a change of the look of Allah. Making your beard red is not the change of the creation of Allah. So, he was allowed to do certain things in, in Islam. What do you mean he's allowed? allowed? What do you mean he's allowed? No, he's not allowed. Where, where no, is you allowed? Either, Allah either you are forbidden from changing the way Allah He made you, and that goes for everybody, or you don't make it. As you see here now, Muhammad He changed his hair, and now the Muslims they follow. So now all the Muslims are allowed to change the color of their hair. But if a woman she take hair from her face, she is changing the way Allah He made her. Yeah, she she, she can't, you know. What? what would, okay, it, why? Why? Okay, why? 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 I mean, my friend, listen to me. The Muslim women, Muhammad, he told them to shave their vagina. Is that correct? So he told even a male, female to listen. Shave was your the was your prophet hair. was your prophet doing a nora? What's a nora? Uh, uh, waxing. Hmm? Waxing. Uh, yeah, on the arms. What? Armpits. Yeah. So he 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 advises to clock the uh, armpits. But no, Muhammad, he used to do waxing for all his body. Is that a change of his, uh, the Allah creation? All his body? Where does that? You, 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 each time I say something, you say to me, where is that? Where is that? And he will keep showing you. I'm asking you now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, show me okay, that. no, no, no. I'm interested to see. Okay, he did all his no body. problem. I will show you. But I'm asking you. Well, is, if that? you take hair only from one place, you agree that your prophet, according to you, he tear hair from where? Um, well, pubic hair. Hmm. Is that to change the way Allah He created you? Mm, the same thing that needs to be removed. So Allah tells us what, what we should remove okay. and what we should remove. Okay. So why, why the in the pubic area taking hair is fine, but the women in her face she cannot. She can she can take uh, if it's too bushy, she can uh, just uh, what you do know, you mean too bushy? It says here, it says here, Allah he cursed those who block hair from their faces. Yeah, from, from other uh, from other hadith, we understand that a woman should not look like a man, so if, if, if it's uh, and she shouldn't look odd as well. So the point is, my that friend, no, no, it says whoever, whoever take hair from her face, Allah he curse her. In the same time, you do waxing. And you are a man and you do change the color of your hair and you are a man and you shave your beard and you are a man but if a woman should do that what do you mean muslims are allowed to shave beard. their beard show me a hadith that says a muslim man cannot shave his beard yeah the hadith says uh, uh the prophet said uh, grow your beard and trim your mustache and there's a man that came no no to the prophet, he, this is advice this is not an order you know this is not advice no, the prophet yeah no no the no man no. came to the prophet and the prophet turned away from him because of that, no, no, show me what it says it's forbidden for you to shave your beard, otherwise, we will not see a one Muslim is not shaving his beard. This is uh, deduced from the narrations. What, what? this is deduced from the narrations? Uh. <laughs> okay, let me ask you Did your prophet circumcise himself? Uh, he was circumcised by who? I don't know about it. Never. I never saw, never heard of Muhammad being circumcised. Where? How? It's, it's, uh, it's understood because he commanded his uh, followers. Mm. To he follow commanded his followers to do many things, but he never did what they do. He said to them, four wives, he have 13. 
He said to them, "You, etc." He do, don't approach your wife when they have their period. He approaches a wife is when they have their period. He said, "Don't piss when you are facing the qibla." He piss facing the qibla. Muhammad, he says something for them, not for him. He's like Erdogan. Erdogan, he said something to them. He do the opposite. No, certain things I only for him, and also uh, if you were urinating towards uh, the thing he was teaching us, that is, it's actually permissible, boys, uh, recommended not to. It's not allowed to piss into the Qibla, but Muhammad he does. Now let me ask you, do you have any reference that your prophet he did circumcised or he was circumcised? And what at what age? Never been circumcised. So look at this hypocrisy. He says and he claimed that he is Abrahamic. He claimed that it is from the ritual of Allah. He claimed that this is the, from the order of Allah, but he is the last one to be circumcised. No lack of evidence doesn't mean that he, he, he never happened. Uh, no, the lack of evidence that's on you because simply this is should be mentioned even the, in the Quran. Well, what do you say? You mentioned the Quran. What? Yeah, what, what in the Quran is speak about the circumcision of the Prophet? I mean, the Quran have time to tell us about the ants speaking to the ants, the flying carpet, the bird, the bird who went to find a woman she have no hair in her legs. But Allah, He don't have time to tell us about what happened to Muhammad. It's minor, like less for argument's sake. Say you, he wasn't circumcised. What's the problem? You see, my, my 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 point is, all Muhammad behavior he changed the way Allah he made you look like supposedly, but now he is cursing the women for just a silly stupid thing. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? What the business of God with women taking hair from her face? If you can't take hair from your body, if he allow you to take hair from your body. What is a what is a specific about the face? Why if she take care? Why Allah will be happy if your wife she look like a goat? This is not even logical. It's the stupid women. They are women. She, she, she like to be beauty. I mean, uh, imagine a why a woman now uh, a Middle Eastern. I'm a Middle Eastern. We know we are hairy. We are very hairy. Once I was kicked from the swimming pool. They thought I'm wearing my clothes. I told them I'm not wearing anything. This is my hair. We look like monkeys. So a woman, a Middle Eastern woman. She is still hairy because we are. Yeah, so now, too heavy, so, uh, so now no, to. the prophet says if a woman she black hair hair, Allah curse her. He didn't say black, you know, if she is no exception, that's it. You cannot block the hair, even you cannot take hair from your eyebrows. Yeah, you, you can't isolate. No, uh, you cannot. Show me the difference. Show me the difference. No way it says that. It says it clearly. You cannot. No, from other hadiths we understand that the no my friend there's no other hadith don't don't, don't for, those, for yourself for there's no no there's no other hadith you cannot take hair of him your face anywhere not your cheek not your eyebrows nowhere Allah curse you so all what we notice here we are jumping like monkeys from place to place to place Muhammad he say things doesn't make sense he copied from Omar the Quran he changed the direction of a prayer because of Omar he for he ordered women to do hijab because of Omar, and now he is coming with the most silly in, in a crazy stuff that women if they block hair from their face Allah will curse them. What about why he did not say why he did not say Allah curse the man who take hair from his face? Why he did not say Allah will do this to a man who do that to his face? He did not say that. Why? There's many other narrations that apply to both. Like he said, uh, may Allah curse the tattoo and the tattooed. The one who uh, this is in front of you. This is all of them. I can show you all of them. They are the same. It's about a woman. When we talk about taking hair from the face, your prophet he take hair. Your prophet he color his hair. Your prophet forbid the Muslims from coloring their hair black. Why, by the way, why you cannot carry color your hair black? I mean, even. Uh... Yeah, he said not black. But even even a woman, she can color her. If, if why? Why black? Why black? Why black is haram? What the problem? Um, isn't it? Isn't it God who created us with the black hair? Usually, I mean, what the problem? Those are Arab. Their hair is not a blonde. So why? Well, yeah, um, yeah, the black. The, yeah, the reason black was is because you're deceiving people of your age. Um, because uh, generally people do uh, color no, their hands up. No, no, he ordered them to make it red. Yeah, of course, in that way, you're not deceiving them. What do you mean you are not deceiving them? You are changing the color anyway. <laughs> because you're showing, because you generally, uh, 
you color it if you got white hair. My friend, your prophet, he saw a man, he have a gray hair. He said to him, color, color your hair. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so you are deceiving anyway. Leave him gray. Allah made you gray. So why you want to don't make it a gray? Why, why you don't keep it a gray? No, people will know that this person had gray hair. So okay. That's why he colored it. No, if he did no, it, no, no, if no, 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 hold on. You are saying to me we should not change the way Allah He made us. Okay, if, is is having a gray, if is having a gray hair, is it the way it should be? Why you need to change it? Allah decides what is changing and what is not. Like, what, no, my what friend, is changing? You, you're a prophet, He forbid them from doing that using a black color because the Jews they used to do to, to color with the black color. That's all. That's it. Just because the Jews they used to color their hair with the black, so he said to them, Don't color it black, so color it anything. Anyway, you are changing the color. So look at this prophet, he come with rules and he claimed that those are from Allah. But if you think about it, if you have a little brain, what Allah business to make you to make to be to be upset for Allah. If you have a black hair color, but if he is not upset if you make it red. Yeah, so he decides what web is changing fish. I think it's been two hours. Uh, yeah, I think you show us about to finish anyway. So what do you mean? He is, he's ordering to uh, he, he, if you don't want them to change, he should say to them, don't make it. Don't change it. Don't color it. As you see, a man, he came to him and he said to him, look, your hair is, is, is white. Cover it. Cover it, man. In different hadith, even your prophet, he says, so the, so your wife, she will like you. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. And say hello to your to your sheikh. Maybe he can call us sometime if you have time, all right? All right. Okay, take care. As you see, I mean, this is a crazy... A woman she color her hair, Allah curse her. A man he should color his hair. Muhammad, he don't like to see you with the with the white hair. Why? This guy, Muhammad, he come with the most crazy stuff. What this is about? He do waxing. He take hair from his body. He color his hair. He wanna be. He, he wanna be blondie. But women, they take hair from their face. He is upset. And even you wanna color your hair. Don't make it a black. Why? Because the Jews they make it a black. Muhammad always he avoid getting busted by the Jews. The Jews are a problem for him. He changed his rules in the speed of light. And always he feel guilty because everybody knows that he is a thief and he is stealing from the Jews and others from the Christians from the Sabian. The message of Allah used to stand up for a funeral, enter the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jews once passed by him and said, This is how we do it. <laughs> what the Jew he said, This is how we do it. Okay, the Jew he said, This is how we do it. What Muhammad respond? Sit down, sit down, act differently. If this is, we heard this uh, gentleman here, he said uh, everything Muhammad, he said is inspiration from Allah. Okay, so Allah, when, when, when the Prophet was standing for the funeral in the prayer, is that a prayer Allah taught him? Or this is a prayer he was making up? The Muslim will say, no, this is from Allah. Okay, how do you change it in a second? You know what I mean, guys? If Allah is the one who taught Muhammad how to pray, a guy he walk by, he is a rabbi, he is a Jew. He say, "Hey Muhammad, this is how we do it." So why you change it? Muhammad right away he felt guilty and he felt, "Oh, oh they got me busted." 
this is how they do it and now people they will say he copied the Jews and maybe even the rabbi he is maybe he's laughing maybe he's making fun of him maybe he's saying this is how we do it but he don't but this is not how they do it so Muhammad immediately he changed the way to pray and this is proven to us that Muhammad is not from God like he did not wait a day or two days after that and then uh, Jabril came to him and he say Muhammad don't pray like this anymore because this is how they do it in the spot immediately the guy he just finished saying this is how we do it Muhammad he said sit down sit down act differently If Muhammad a prophet of God he says so what this is how they do it good for you you are a Jew I follow the same God perfect correct guys Muhammad he claimed that he is a he is the same as the prophet of Israel he claimed that he is following Abraham he claimed that he is the same as Moses so why you want to act differently Say, okay, we are from the same God. This is the same religion at the end of the day. But because he is a fake man, because he's a con, and he is a false prophet, he right away, he changed the way the prayer is, and he said to them, sit down. So obviously, Muhammad, he fabricate rules and fabricate reasons. The reason don't color your hair black because the Jews color it black the reason not to pray in Friday but to pray uh, sorry and not in Saturday because the Jews pray in Saturday the reason not to do it in Sunday because the Christian do it in Sunday so he chose the Friday it's just to act differently and even the hadith mentioned that The reason they have Adhan, why they have Adhan, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, because, because uh, for the, 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 the campaign, they said to him, what about we use the bill, the same as the Christian? He said, no, the Christian do that. They said to him, what about we use a fire, the same as the Sabian? He said, no, we cannot do it the same as the Sabian. And then one, he suggests that to do Adhan, and he liked the idea. This is not from God. If my God, he said to me, this is how you pray, you don't change it because somebody says this is how we do it. All the rituals, all the fabrication, all the fabric of, of, of Islam is either a copy from the pagan Arab before Islam, the Jews, the Nasara, not the Christians, the Nasara, the false cult, Christian cult, and the Sabian, and then he starts learning from Salman al Farisi, which is a Zaradisht, he is a Persian. And Salman al Farisi, Farisi, he taught him about the Hur, he taught him about a Sirat, the bridge, he taught him about, uh, you know, uh, the reward of women, white women, who they are extremely white. All those stories coming from the Zaradisht, uh, you know, uh, uh, religion. If this is not enough to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet, what is enough? Right? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. And I hope the Muslims, they will listen carefully. Feel free to download the video. My videos don't stay long, especially the ones I prefer to take them down because I want them to spread around so if you like our videos please download them share them in your channel have fun with them do whatever you wish uh, but don't claim that they are yours <laughs> which means don't claim that you are Christian friends uh, my friends the Lord the Messiah he said that from their fruits you shall know them and the Bible speak 
that those who follow the devil they speak foolishness wisdom is from the wise Lord and there's no wisdom in God cursing a woman for taking hair from her face God he created women to be a woman to be a female and then he says I'm going to curse you for taking hair from your face and then he says the man he can take care of from his face is it okay it's all right for a man to do circumcision which is a change in the creation of Allah supposedly but a woman she cannot take care from her face Islam always discriminate women and women are always the weak human in this religion for Muhammad do not need women he need men who carry sword and kill this is why he curses women. He claims women are they they come in the image of the devil and they live in the image of the devil. He never respected them. Even Muhammad he claimed that because of Eve, Adam betrayed. Eve betrayed her husband, Adam. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. And until we see you, I will try to be here tomorrow too. I wish. Let us see. Until then, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you again. Bye bye.